Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some more running plays for you out of the Niners playbook. The Niners playbook is one of the best running playbooks in the game, and it's mostly because of all the I form formations that they have. Uh, last weekend, I put out a formation with four run plays out of the I form wing. Also, had a couple of pass plays on my Patreon and on my Join Now community. Link in the description below if you want to check out the full scheme. But I'll try to make sure I put a link to the full video. Uh, not the full video, but the video I put out on YouTube. I'll try to put a link below. If if you missed that uh, but ultimately that's one of the better run formations in the game today though I'm gonna be focusing on uh, maybe one maybe two I'm not really sure I might record two videos here because they're very similar the slot and the slot close um, has some really good run plays I'm going to personally use the slot close today uh, because this is really one of the better um, you know there's 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 a lot you can do with this but I think I might record the I form slot Put it on my Patreon, put it on the Join Now community. If you want to see that, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. I could put that out because this is also a really good formation. A lot of really good pass. This is a better passing formation. The iForm slot has better passing plays than the one I'm going to show you today. The iForm slot or the slot close. But the slot close does have one of the glitchier plays in the game. And I'm going to show you that later. That's the PA spot. So stick around for that. But ultimately, I'm going to be doing mostly uh, run plays today. This is a really run focused video. And then at the end, I'm going to show you a really good pass play. So the run plays themselves. Um, there's really only two that I use the stretch the halfback stretch which is pretty obvious and uh, the jet sweep so I'll put those two I mean the blast is pretty good I'll put that in as well uh, but that you can get the same effect uh, from the, uh, the stretch and the blast so we're gonna go we're gonna put all three plays we're just gonna put them all in the audibles and then we'll also do that with the with the pass play which is already in there the PA spot so like I was saying there's really two different plays that are, are, are the auspices of this video it's the PA spot and the halfback stretch the halfback stretch is going to set up the PA spot I'll show you some of these other plays briefly but ultimately those are the two plays that are gonna make the most difference so I would say it's best to make this motion every single time motion one of these receivers actually motion the wrong receiver but it really doesn't matter make this motion every single time because the pass play is going to use that motion so you definitely want to use that a to set up uh, the pass play and B to try to pull uh, your user away from the direction you're going so I'm going to be going to the right most of the time if it's a zone uh, you can go to the left or right but I mean, it really depends on what defense you're looking at. Like right here, I can tell I got a cover three because that cornerback's so far off. So this is going to be a scenario where we're running to this direction is going to make the most sense. Uh, if it's a cover two, obviously you don't want to go that way. That's when you would change the play. But ultimately, if you can make a slight defensive read, like look how far back that corner is. You know what I mean? If it's a man coverage, typically there's going to be no cornerback over there. That's one of the things about these three, or these two wide receivers to one side is a lot of times if it's a man cover one, man cover two, man zero, there's going to be nothing out there. Hopefully I'll get a a couple of looks like that but ultimately this is pretty much the look so you can see I mean this almost opens up like a trap play the way that I, I don't necessarily take it directly to the edge it almost goes inside a little bit uh, but you can see there's a lot of opportunity there and then one of the reasons that I like this play rather than the other series which also had a, a stretch play the other series the iPhone slot or whatever the, the other one was had a stretch play but you couldn't flip flip it because it was a uh, stretch alert uh, bubble I think so you can't do that with that play but this play you can do that and that's why I was saying you have the blast which is a short you know it's a run to the other side but the stretch can really do that anyway so you don't really have to do that so here I got the safety in the box I'm gonna go the opposite direction you might not necessarily get the same type of blocks but you can see, I mean, obviously I got some really great blocks here. So this is a play that's very explosive to both sides of the field. So, I mean, it's real simple as far as the reads go. If it's a cover three like this is, you just want to run to the opposite side of the box safety. As you can see right here, the box safety is right over the receiver side. I'm going to go ahead and make that fake motion. Like I said, every single time, just get in the habit of making that motion. Just because, like I said, if you can get your user to go out a little bit, or you can set up that pass play, which is going to come later, and that's going to be a very explosive pass play against just about any defense in the game. So that's going to be your best read. Here's the one scenario where I was saying uh, the halfback blast would make the most sense. Because you can see how we have that linebacker there uh, mirroring right over the uh, receivers. There's a big gap. If I motion this receiver out, a lot of times it brings the linebacker out, uh, which is not going to be a good thing uh, for the defense. As you can see right here, now it just creates an even wider gap. But that's not necessarily one of the best run plays. It's a, it's a good run play to use. You want to have it in your audibles. But it's definitely not necessarily one of the best run plays. So here we have what looks like a man blitz, but I'm still going to try to beat 
beat that. Hoping that my tight end can get out there. Uh, we'll make that fake motion one more time. You can see the tight end does get out on that block. And like I said, blitzing the run um, is never a good idea. You can see it just leaves you wide open for big gashing runs. Now, as far as the, uh, the sweep, the jet sweep goes, I mean, this is just something, once again, if it's a man coverage, you can see there's not really a cornerback on that side. Although I think that that's, a, that's a, it could be the box safety for the cover one. I'm not really sure. It doesn't matter. But if you have a man coverage where there's nobody on the right side or a cover three, once again, uh, it's a good opportunity to use one of these plays. I mean, this is definitely going to be a, a good, um, I like to run plays like this just to keep my opponent on their toes. It's definitely an annoying uh, concept to run against um, on, on uh, the defensive side. Uh, but it's not necessarily, you know, this is something you just kind of mix in, but you don't necessarily you know expect to hit home runs out of this it's just it's very consistent but it's something that um you know you just want to you want to you want to sprinkle in it's not necessarily like the, the the stretch is the bread and butter this is just a play um just a mess with your opponent I, I i typically like to to use it but it's still give me a good five to six yards every time now when it comes to the pass play the pa spot uh when i was saying set up the uh when, when it comes to setting up the pass with the run i meant that literally because when you're running these stretch plays you're going to end up on one of these far hash marks pretty much every time that's what's good that's going to be very important when it comes to the pass plays you're going to have a lot of space to the open side of the field and you're going to make sure that you run it to that side of the field so as far as the setup goes all you really need to do is you need to mirror that motion motion this guy out and put the x route on streak typically the a route i like the streak too just to kind of keep that side of the field occupied but you can also put them on an in route or um, i forgot this particular tight end has uh, multiple adjustments you can put them on in route a slant whatever you want to do uh, but i really find that the streak is really is really best because i'm really trying to focus on this side of the field so if you have what is a cover two here you can see that motion he's wide open outside i mean that's like 10 yards of separation you're going to get that against most zones and i'm going to go zone to zone to show you that but ultimately um this is pretty much the look like i said as long as you i mean you could probably block that tight end but it really doesn't matter so you can see right here the zone coverages if you throw it quick enough you could probably get up the sideline i really didn't get uh, quite the bend that i wanted um, but this is, you know, against any zone coverage, this is going to have this effect. I sometimes put him on a smart route. You can see here it kind of angles him a little bit further, um, but it's not really necessary. So right here, like I said, you can see there's nothing really out there. I'm trying to get up the field, but I'm going out of bounds quite a bit. But that's the only defender that's in my way is the boundary. Against cover three, it's the same thing, but it's a different read. The X route's going to be the read now. So I'm going to continue with my streaks. Like I said, that's why I try to keep the same setup consistent. So if I don't make the best read off the bat, it doesn't really matter matter but you can see i mean there's definitely uh, a lot of space in between the cornerback and the safety based off of what that uh, receiver is doing to the outside cornerback um, sometimes once again like i said sometimes i'll put them on a smart route sometimes that really helps to pull that cornerback even faster but it's not 100 percent necessary so here we go one more time like i said he's pretty much gone right away and we're splitting that defense that cornerback really did a good job of coming back there though by by uh, last second that's why i was saying you don't really have to do um the uh the, the smart route the smart route might be why because in this particular scenario if it's like third and five the smart route's key that's great, but on, on practice mode, it's like first and 10 all the time. So that actually extends uh, the route, in my opinion. I'm not 100% sure about that, but it seems like it extends it from uh, for a couple of yards, which kind of helps the, the, the cornerback get back into the play. But like I said, if you're doing this on second and five, hit that smart route, it's going to be even better because he's going to break it five yards. And then, like I said, I mean, there's really there's really nothing but pitch and catch here. Though. I'm, they're getting some tight coverage coming up the, up the angle there. So it is what it is. I mean, I didn't get going there. But you can see against cover three, it's obviously an easy one-play touchdown. And then what really makes this special, a lot of people need cover four plays. A lot of people need uh, cover four drop show two uh, plays to beat that defense. And this play is going to do that as well. Although you have to make one slight different adjustment. If I put the X route here on a fade instead of a streak you can see he doesn't go like on a streak he just goes straight up the field if i put him on a fade he's going to pull back both of the uh the corner uh, the cornerback and the safety on that side of the field which is what i want so now that x that b route is going to be just wide open again uh, if i don't do that fade if i do just the streak it'll be a one-on-one -on -one between the safety and the cornerback so i'll go ahead and I'll do that real quick just to show you what i'm talking about the x route here if i put him on a streak he's not going to pull that cornerback now so it'll give me a one-on-one -on -one the safety if you really want to take a shot uh you can you know what i mean like if you think you have a, if, if you have definitely have like a speed advantage you might be able to make something happen but ultimately you can see only one guy goes with him so if i want both guys to go with them i just got to put them on a fade and it'll change that 
So now I have that receiver on a fade. They're both going to go. It's going to leave this guy just wide open uh, for a really easy pitch and catch. So no matter what zone defense you're looking at, you're looking at the same wide open uh, look on defense. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more stuff out of the Niners, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.